fairly fresh. Fairly. Here we go. That'll be good. Tip your fly line landing just behind his tail. Yep. It's a pretty good line. I've I'd left about now. I lost him in the glare there, but it was a pretty good line. You could maybe go a couple of feet left. Yeah, that's perfect. Right on line from about and left about there. Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. That's a pretty good way to start the day. Demon Dean is in the background with me. We've actually been out and about for the last four days. Yeah, man. Struggling. Struggle Street all week. High rivers, bad weather, snowing, other anglers jumping us and kind of messing up our day. It's been, it's been tough, but hopefully this is a sign of the worm turning. Is that, is that, Worm turning, that's the one. That's, that's, like that's it. A, yeah. I'm hopefully that's, that's the saying and that's what's going to happen. It's freezing. It's minus two this morning. Real cold. But the sun's up now. It's on the river and obviously there's fish out. So we'll try to find another couple of them. And uh, yeah, get this thing going. Let's do it. I thought there should be something in there. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on. I see what you're looking at. That's a rock too, I think. Hang on. If I'm one off to the side, it's closer. Yeah. Looks rocky from here. Yeah. And then there's that nice ground at the top. Oh, I got, I got zero. Yeah, I know you so you tell me how far I can get forward. Oh, I might be able to see him. Not really, but I think I can see the fish. Oh, does it look, look like I'm pointing at him? He just moved right. Yeah, I saw. I can see him. He may have tried to eat that, eh? Is he back on his rock? Here we go. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Got him. 
Nice call. Nice call. All right, we're in the game. We're in the game. That is a good fish. <laughs> Whoa, say that to all the boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, still unwrapped. There we go, we're unwrapped. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, man. Cool markings on this fish, eh? Wicked cool in that sun. moment there I didn't go press record all right on the board great fish big head uh, long body used to be a much bigger fish too so imagine him when he was in his prime so that was again another team effort in the uh, in the bad lighting thing was alongside he was calling the shots because I really couldn't see and uh, yeah got the cast right got the drift right fish moved over Dean called it and that guy was there in a little size 18 unweighted um, pheasant tail uh, and a big piece of split shot did the job yeah that's good stuff in fact what I'll do real quick is I'll run you through what I'm using uh, for today just so you know okay so I've got the Helios 3 6-way F um, from Orvis on there I've got the Mirage LT size 2 reel in the kind of dark olive color and then uh, on there, as usual, guys, I've got the Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in a six weight. Did I mention the rod was a six weight? I can't remember. Loop to loop here, connection to a seven foot floating poly leader, down to a tippet ring. And then off of that, I've got, got about nine feet of 3X Scientific Angler's Absolute Supreme Fluorocarbon, uh, down to one, two, three, about four, four and a half feet of 4X of the same fluorocarbon and then on the end of that I had a little size 18 unweighted pheasant tail uh, and I've lost it now but I had a big piece of split shot off of this long tag end of the dropper and that was it and then it just took a little bit of teamwork to make the dream work but that's it super simple I uh, just went for the six weight today just because um, potentially big fish in this river and also big wind so if that wind does get up later which it's supposed to and it's starting to uh, just a little bit more power in the six weight will help me turn these long leaders over um, but yeah what a great start we've actually done better in the last hour than we've done in the last like two days <laughs> so it's all good in the hood all right let's go find another one for Dean <laughs> If we're looking at the same thing, I think it's a rock.
Oh, what a beautiful fish, man. I set the standard for the day, innit? Um, so you had a, do you reckon he looked, he looked at it a couple of times, but didn't he? Yeah, he looked a couple of times. I, I actually hooked the bottom, just bought behind him. I thought he'd eaten, but he hadn't. Yeah. And then that time he just moved across, and when I tightened up, he was on. So. Yeah, you dropped down to an 18. 18, well, yeah. The other two were 16. Little but... 18, day eh? Could be the way. Maybe. Smaller and browner, if it don't work, smaller and browner. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, man. It was a great fish. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Fun. 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 Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, about time. Okay, just waiting for Dean to retie or has a shot at this fish. While we're waiting, let me tell you a little bit more about backcountry skins. All right, so these are what I'm talking about. So these neoprene leggings are from a company called Backcountry Skins. They're based in the US. You can find them on Instagram, Facebook, I think. Definitely Instagram anyway. And they're basically just neoprene leggings that you could wear with a pair of board shorts or I've been wearing them underneath my wet wading pants. So I love to wet wade. I don't really enjoy wearing waders, so I avoid it anytime I can. And generally that means early season, late season, and on those colder days, uh, I, I generally freeze. So what I've been doing up until now is I'll wear a pair of like base layer thermal leggings and either a pair of board shorts or I'll wear those leggings and then put my wet wading pants over the top, which work fine. So what these effectively do is the same thing as that, but they just give you more warmth. So this neoprene is two millimeter thick and I believe they've just come out with a one millimeter thick one, which is obviously a little bit thinner, so a little bit cooler, which is good because I've got to admit on those hotter afternoons uh, or when you're doing like a long bush bash, I've got fairly warm wearing these but when you're in the river early morning colder days later in the afternoon that kind of stuff these really come into their own and they, they really do help i don't have the one millimeter thick ones yet um hopefully i'm going to get some pretty soon uh, and when i do i'll actually do a proper friday filler on this and just you know give you a good rundown of them but i just wanted to talk to you about these because i've been quietly using these all summer and i'm sold these are a hundred percent now part of my gear i think they're brilliant so like i said you just pop them on just like you would a pair of thermal leggings um they do have like a little pocket here for i guess phone or whatever which i've never used um but it's there if you want them they're super comfy and they do keep you so much warmer than just the, the base layer leggings i've been using till now easy to wash quick to dry it's genius anything to not wear waders really i just wanted to kind of bring your attention to these guys because like i say i've been quietly using them all summer just while i work out if I like them or not or if they're any good the build quality is awesome I haven't had any stitching come undone and I've given these a good hammering they look cool and more importantly they work so as with everything I'll link the uh, website in the description below this video head over check them out I highly recommend them like I said when I get the one millimeter ones the slightly thinner ones I'll do a proper Friday filler rundown on them but for now I just wanted to bring these to your attention yeah, so I've had a, I've had a few tough days. Actually, every day has been tough on this trip so far. I really haven't had a good day of fishing yet. I managed to eke out a few fish here and there, as is Dean, um, but it's been real tough. One of those uh, trips where just uh, nothing seems to go right between weather and just fish not feeding, not being out, river levels high, other anglers kind of messing things up. It's been a real test of patience and persistence and just kind of keeping on going. Just got to keep on pushing, stay positive and just keep doing your thing. Is he sitting there by the white rock? They'll come down his left. Nah, he's done, isn't he? Damn it. Look at that valley. That's beautiful. Those ranges with the snow on just looked amazing. Oh, is he gone? In the water. 
Yeah! Oh no! Change that flight. Pretty good. Got him. Yes. I'll come to you. Good fish. Yeah, we might end up down. I'm not sure. Got to change my angle slightly. Oh no. Oh, I just wanted to come to you, say you're coming across. It's a good fish. It's okay, got a bad angle on the line anyway. I'll bring him right in here. Nice! Thanks man. Oh, oh man. I work for you my friend. Then you are absolutely worth it. Look at that guy. Great fish, really happy about that. I've worked all afternoon for that. Dean's been super patient with me. He's just pushed up to try and find something in that next pool. And yeah, it's uh, almost four o'clock. This is probably my last uh, fish of the day, to be honest. Just took some fly changes, saw him swing over. That was the job, nice work. Hans, if you're watching, buddy, that's one of your little secret patterns. You know the one I mean. Yo, okay, so we're gonna call it a day and we're gonna walk back now because it's getting tough to see and it's getting on too, to be honest. Two fish each. Started off really, really well and then just kind of hit Struggle Street in the middle and for most of the day, to be honest. But, you know, kept going and got that last fish at the end, which I was super happy with. And then a couple of a couple of close calls, lost a couple, missed a couple. So it's all good in the hood, really. Wicked River, do really enjoy it here and we'll probably do another day on here before we leave. And just make the most of the weather. Don't forget to check out those backcountry skins leggings I was talking about earlier. They're really, really good. And if you like to wet wade or you're thinking about wet wading, definitely worth considering. I will leave the link in the description below along with everything else you see me use and talk about. Just down there. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have yourselves a great weekend. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.